Now I'm gonna make sure I pull this right to about there. Make sure it doesn't snap at you in the face or you'll you'll join Johnny. Oh. Oh. What's up guys, Matt Dasher here from Blue Star Nutraceuticals at the Blue Star Nutraceutical Training Facility. And today we're gonna to talk about muscle building plateaus and how you can overcome them. Now muscle building plateaus can be one of the most frustrating things to experience as a lifter, but they're one of the easiest things to get past if you know what to look for. So today we're gonna to go over typical things that will hold you back, what to look out for and how to avoid them. All right guys, so as we go through these pointers, I'm just gonna go through one of my typical workouts here. We're gonna do a little bit of a follow along, but don't worry too much about the workout. Just pay attention to the pointers I'm giving you so you guys can maximize your muscle building benefits. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, guys, so one of the first things and probably most important things that you can think of when you're working out is to employ something called progressive overload. Now, one of the things I want you guys to remember is that your body follows a principle called specific adaptation to impose demands. Now, you don't have to memorize that, but if you keep in mind what it means, that's gonna be one of the most important things you can do throughout your entire training career. Our body is going to adapt to whatever stimulus we impose upon it. So if we're not continuing to challenge the body in such a way that it needs to get bigger, it needs to get stronger, straight up it's not going to do that because our body essentially at the end of the day is trying to survive by outputting as little energy as possible. So we have to force it to grow by continuing to employ different progressive overload techniques. So what is progressive overload? It's pretty straightforward. All we're gonna do is continually challenge the body by adding more weight within a specific rep range as we continue to do our program. So for example, if I had three sets of eight to 10 reps in my prescribed program, I would pick a weight that I could probably do 10 reps on the first set, nine reps on the second, maybe eight reps on the third. The next workout, I'm gonna use the same weight and I'm gonna to continue to use that same weight until I get all three sets with a fully prescribed amount of weights. At that point, I'm going to increase the weight. Why? Because now my body is too strong for that weight and I need to continue to force it to adapt and force it to get stronger by picking a heavier weight. So that's pretty much the straightforward way to look at progressive overload. So if you're picking the same sets, reps, and weights the entire time, always when you work out, it's probably one of the main reasons why you're plateauing. So make sure to progressively overload your workouts on a regular basis. What are you staring at? Huh, you staring at me? I don't blame you. Okay guys, one of the next big factors in hitting a muscle building plateau is that there's not enough variation in your exercises. So essentially what we wanna do is make sure that we're confusing the body and we're challenging the body in new ways. And if you do the same exercises over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, the body is going to eventually adapt and it's not going to be able to continue to grow or get strong because it's too used to the stimulus that you're placing upon it. On the opposite end of that, sometimes not changing up your exercises enough can also cause a plateau. So there's an interesting balance you need to strike here, guys. If you're doing a new exercise, one of the things that's super important and one of the things that's going to encourage muscular growth is the fact that your body is not coordinated and used to doing that exercise. So you're gonna be doing more muscle damage when you do something you're not used to. But if you switch up exercises all the time, then you'll never have a chance to really get good at an exercise, which means you're not gonna be able to lift a ton of weight. And if we can't lift more weight and we can't progressively overload, then we're not gonna be able to build muscle. So as a general rule, if I'm doing a program for a client, I like to switch things up anywhere from four to eight weeks. And usually that's for novelty. But if it's just for myself, I'm gonna to continue to use an exercise and a set and rep strategy until I'm no longer getting gains from it. At which point I'll change things up. Depends on your personality type and what you really like. Sometimes people need that novelty to keep them going. Sometimes people like more repetition to keep them going so they can get good at something. So that's gonna depend upon you. But at the end of the day, as long as you're changing something up within that, I would say four to eight week range, you're gonna be in the good books. If you change things up more frequently than that, chances are you're not getting enough exposure to that particular exercise to get very good at it. And if you're not getting very good at it, you won't be able to lift much weight. And you won't be able to challenge the body to new growth. So keep that in mind. All right. Never done bench press before in my life. This is a totally new exercise for me. See that? That was a new variation. Haven't done that before. You know what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Now the next point is rest and recovery or overtraining. Frequently people will be pushing themselves too much. They'll be hitting the gym too much. They'll be giving their muscles too much stimulus and not enough time to adapt essentially, where they'll be breaking their muscles down too much. So you wanna keep in mind that overtraining is a thing. It will definitely lead to muscle building plateaus. And if you're not getting enough sleep in between training days, rest in between training days for certain muscle groups, then you are going to be slowing down your muscle building progress. So how much sleep and rest do we need? You wanna make sure you're getting at least seven to nine hours of good quality sleep each night. And I say good quality because you wanna make sure that you're actually getting a deep sleep. Being on your cell phone, your laptop, being on the TV, 
drinking caffeine past noon, all of these things are gonna make it very hard for you to get a good quality sleep. And if you're not getting a good quality sleep, you're not recovering. One of my favorite supplements to use is GH Peak because every single time I take that, if I take it an hour before bed, I sleep like a baby and I wake up feeling like a million bucks. So something to consider. Um, and in between workouts, you wanna make sure you're getting at least two to three days of recovery per muscle group, okay? So if you're hitting a muscle group three, four, five times a week, you're probably overtraining that muscle group, okay? So you should not be training any muscle groups more than maybe three times a week max. Something to keep in mind. Okay, guys, one other point on rest and recovery. These things will kill your workout, okay? You need to set the cell phone down and you need to pay attention to how much rest and recovery you're taking in between sets. If you are spending three hours in the gym to do a one hour long workout, you are killing your gains and that is guaranteed the reason why you're hitting a muscle building plateau. If you're doing strength exercises, you should be taking a maximum of three, maybe four minutes in between sets. If you're looking to build muscular size and you're doing that hypertrophy range, you should be taking maybe 60 to two minutes long max in between sets. I like to do opposing supersets as my, as my main workout. So which means that while I'm resting from my bench press, I can be doing my rows and that's allowing my pressing muscles to be resting so that I don't have to take a lot of time not doing anything. So make sure you're not resting and recovering too much in between your sets and toss the cell phone out, leave it in the locker room, leave it in your gym bag, leave it alone because it's not going to help you get more jacked. <sighs> All right guys, one of the other things that can be a major contributor to a muscle building plateau is poor nutrition. One of the biggest things I see holding people back, whether it be friends, clients, people that have been in the business for a long time, or people that are just starting, is that they don't eat enough whole foods, okay? You cannot build a house without bricks and mortar. So you need to make sure you're eating enough. Just as a quick reminder, I would recommend getting at least one gram of protein per pound of body fat, or sorry, body weight, not body fat. That's a little bit trickier and you won't be getting enough protein most likely. You need to make sure you get good healthy carbs, good healthy fats as well. The other thing I want to specify here is that supplementation can be a huge benefit here. So it's not always easy to get enough protein in. It's not always easy to get enough calories in. It's not always easy to get enough micronutrients in in a day. And if you're struggling with that stuff, then a supplement strategy is convenient, it's cost effective, and it can speed up your results and help you to break through that muscle building plateau. So a Blue Star, one of my favorites is ISO Smooth. Probably something that I'm having two to three times a day a lot of days, because frankly, I'm working my butt off all the time and I can't eat six chicken breasts a day. So just a simple supplement strategy there for you guys, but nutrition is gonna be one of the most important things, so keep that in mind. Ugh. All right guys, next important point to make, next important thing to watch out for in terms of muscle building plateaus is overtraining. Now I know what you're thinking, dude, you just said this. Well, that's literally how important this point is because people overtrain on a regular basis because they think that busting their ass and murdering themselves in the gym is gonna help them get quicker results. But I've seen it more frequently lead to muscle building plateaus. So again, what is overtraining? Overtraining is essentially if you're spending four or five hours in the gym every night, even three hours in the gym. Typically an hour to an hour and a half is gonna be more than enough for your muscle building goals. It's also if you're never taking a rest day. So if you're training seven days a week, every week, never taking a rest day, never doing recovery work, Workouts, you're gonna end up overtraining. What are some signs and symptoms? We've talked about this in another video, but if your mood is becoming more depressed, if your energy levels are consistently going down, if you're getting weaker instead of stronger in your workouts, if you're not putting on size, if you can't sleep, these are some signs and symptoms of overtraining. So make sure you keep that in mind. It's one of the most important points. And if you're trying to build muscle, overtraining is a no-go. All right guys, I got a special bonus tip here for you. And yes, I said that on purpose because one of the biggest things that can cause a muscle building plateau is doing what I refer to as bro splits. Now you might have heard about these before, you might not have, but typically they don't really work well for most people because they just don't provide enough stimulus for you to continue to grow muscle. So a bro split, essentially you're gonna be working one muscle group every workout, essentially once per week. And again, if you were paying attention earlier, I was saying that you need to hit most muscle groups two to three times a week, not really much more than that, but you certainly don't want to go any less than that. So stay away from bro workouts. They look cool in magazines. Some of the big, huge guys you see do them, but they only really work for certain types of people in certain types of situations. And for the average person, it will lead to a muscle building plateau. So stay away from bro splits. Ugh. All right, guys, so that's it for my video today. Again, we were talking about muscle building plateaus and how to overcome them. Make sure you employ these tips, guys. Again, at the end of the day, we want you to get big. We want you to get strong. We want it to happen fast, but we also want you to train hard and be consistent, okay? If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. If you have any comments, if you can think about anything I missed, please enter it in the comments section. I love getting comments and interacting with you guys. I always really appreciate it. Outside of that, guys, train hard and stay strong.
All right, guys, thank you for joining us for another Blue Star Nutraceuticals training video. And remember, if you wanna to continue to build muscle and burn fat, we've got awesome content here and here. And if you hit the subscribe button right here, I promise you will be putting out two videos every single week that'll help you reach your muscle building goals. And remember, we're not just a YouTube channel, we also make award-winning supplements. So no matter what your goal, whether it's to build muscle or burn fat, we've got the supplement for you. So check us out at bluestarnutraceuticals.com. Ah! <sighs>